Hey you, stop. If you'd like to play the game before I play it, you could check the link in the description below, which also leads you to the developer. Go support cool people. Enjoy. My name is Agrutsko and welcome to One Way Ticket Episode 2, Mortified by Apparitions. We played Episode 1 and it was very, um, well it was something. I don't know anything about this one going into it either, just uh, the same as it was for the first episode. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to click begin, and we're going to hope that it is going to be at least a tiny bit scarier than the first one. The, f the first one wasn't bad, I thought it was very funny, so I, I had a good time playing it. But uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it's not going to be... Oh, oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, this time, this time, I will move the camera so that you guys can see what I'm trying to do. A visit to the factory. Go to your office. I, okay. This is, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it, it's very reminiscent of, uh, the same graphics for the first game, honestly. Oh, there's, like, coffee and si- Okay. Alright. Hey, buddy. That's, how's it going? You- you having a good time? You having a good time there? We uh, we had fun with you in the last game. <laughs> Let's see, drink up. Bank boint. Oh, bank on. <laughs> bank on it. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I I clearly don't know how to read. Marty's mattresses. <laughs> We have, <laughs> we have two drink places, a bank, sort of, and a mattress store, and a cream factory. Oh, it's cream soda. Hell yeah. Oh my god, dude. Cream soda is like my favorite soda. I'm not, I'm 100% serious. I am in love with cream soda. Cream soda is so good. Can I get in through the window? All right, never mind. Okay, uh, green, so oh, green soda. Why green? Can I work in the cream soda factory instead? That would be kind of good. Is this my office? This must be my office. I want to explore more. I want to explore. Oh, I can't. <laughs> the green door. All right. Uh, do I have anything in here? I, I guess I gotta just... I'm here. Oh, oh, all right. Dot, dot, dot. Answer the phone. Mr. Rumpleton. Scre oh, Scream Soda CEO. Okay. Mr. Crumsby, my dear friend, it's good to hear your voice. I'm sure you were expecting this call. I wasn't. Uh, yes, Mr. Rumpleton. I was actually... My answer is still the same as it was last year, I assure you. I am Simon Crumsby, the owner of Green Soda. That's, that's me. Mr. Rumpleton. Scream Soda. Well, regardless, I'm in town now that my newest factory is up and running. I'd like nothing more than to celebrate with my newest neighbor. How about you come down here and we'll have lunch? Oh, sure, Mr. Rumpleton. It's very kind. I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, I'll be right over. This would be my, my inflection talking to someone on the phone. Oh, me, Mr. Rumpleton at the new Scream Soda Factory. All right, Mr. Chicken Boy is uh, having a good time over there. Let's go to, let's go get some Scream Soda. Sir, I love you. Goodbye. You were, you were good in the last game. I, enjoy, I enjoyed your, I didn't realize that that was an S. How would I ever see the, oh, it's a cursive S. I, I, nah, whatever. Cream soda, it still stands as my favorite soda. So we'll we'll just uh we'll just forgive my early blunder. Oh, oh. They, they. Nice green orbs. I like your green it you look like you oh god, what is this? Is this supposed to be like some kind of fancy like weird bush? Uh whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Why is there <laughs> Why is there like a SWAT, a SWAT guy in the front of <laughs> Scream Soda? All right, let's go up. Oh man, let's go talk to Mr. Rumpleton. Mr. Rumpleton, 
Hello. Please don't kill me. I need you. Oh, you're, you are incredibly scary. So I'm in my old pal. It's good to have you. I appreciate the invite, Mr. Rumpleton. It's refreshing that you aren't bitter towards me or my father after all this time. Oh, it's like a feud. A family feud. All right, whatever. Me, bitter, of course not. Business is business. I respect you and your father for keeping the family business a family business. That's good to hear, Mr. Rumpleton. Yes, but do you remember that if your business does not just slide out of bed, it only was time it would be so bad. He just progressively gets more. <laughs> God damn it! No, I missed it! Shit! I accidentally hit space. Whatever. <laughs> just like a, uh, you can pause it and go to the. Damn it! You can pause it and go to the. I need to move my keyboard. <laughs> You're right. I don't, I don't mean to be preachy. But you should come down to our factory next time. We just we just switched uh, from truck deliveries to drones. Good, good for the environment. No need for employees to drive out to the stores. It's real novelty to uh, watch our stuff. You know what? We'll fix it in post. I'll do a voiceover for it. I'll have to take you up on that. Does that look good? So let's see. In any case, I hope you uh, sushi. We didn't have vegetarian. Are you vegan? Nah, sushi is my favorite. Uh, green soda is green, but not too green for fish and a good steak here and there. Yeah, I mean. Wanting a green planet doesn't automatically make you a vegetarian or a vegan. I mean, that's just people caring the, about the planet, but yeah, or whatever. He looks like the uh, Burger King dude. <laughs> Thanks again for the lunch, Mr. Rumpleton. I'd better get back to the factory. Hey, Tom, Simon. I'm sure Green Soto will be not nationwide. It's so thanks to you. Front, front page headlines. Just you wait. Thanks, Mr. Rumpleton. I'll uh, keep in touch. Head back to your office. Ooh, just, just, just take a look at him. Just take, just take a good look at him. Isn't he beautiful? All right, moving on. Well, interesting. Am I gonna? Oh, that was uh. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, that did scare me a little bit. You, you did get me there, buddy. You got me there a little bit with your uh, tight buttocks and your and your weirdly misshapen head. Whatever. All right. Later. No, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too, not too bad. Not too bad of a scare, that. Not, hey, not too bad of a scare if uh, I say so myself, Mr. Rumpleton. Oh God, we're gonna get destroyed. Mr. Chicken, will you be here to save me? I hope so. I have a, I have a lot riding on you. Just, just want you to, did they plant a bomb? All right, well, I'm here again. Oh, it's gonna be nighttime when we get back, right? Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sophie was just calling, you know, I'm gonna be home late tonight. Oh, Kate's throwing that going away party for Luke. You're welcome to come too if you want, otherwise I'll see you when you get home. Love you. Oh, my wife, Sophie. A great, a great lady. Go to Kate's party. Oh, f yeah, I want to go to a party. Party time. Okay, is this, this is my car? I'm pretty sure. I'm pr pretty sure this is my car. Is this, is this the only car in front of my factory? Is this one car, not my car. Hmm. Strange. Strange and unfortunate. Hmm. This we just uh oh chicken boy's gone. Alright, are we just <laughs> We're just gonna leave the door open, the lights on. Nobody wants a phone or a dead tree. It's fine. We're just gonna walk there. All right, can't go that way. Do I gotta wait for a bus? Is that, is that my, oh, 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 Kate's, Kate's party's right down. <laughs> oh, weird, weirdly enough, there are houses in the middle of a business district. This is, this is a house, correct? Oh, Kate. <laughs> Hi, Kate, it's me. You're beautiful. <laughs> screw my wife. <laughs> no, really, screw her. <laughs> we don't need her. K 
Kate Pernal. Kate Pernal. Simon, you made it with your bloody first one yet, down. Hey, this glass is for you. I didn't know it was gonna be you, but I, it's 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 whatever. Don't worry about it. Well, yeah, if you have a seat, we'll wait for the others. I'm almost done with the ro Ooh, a rose. That's fancy. Thanks, Kate. You know, I could drink this stuff for the rest of my life, but I wouldn't be surprised if poor Luke can't stand the stuff anymore with how long it's been with us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Oh, this SWAT guy's here. All right. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore him? <laughs> I like the the spit. Huh. Wow, even if Kate did add a little something extra to the green soda, I shouldn't be feeling like this all of a sudden. Something is right. She poisoned us. She fucking hates us. Ah, all right. It's, it's death for me. Beautiful. Ugh, my fucking. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. I don't care if it was Kate's spike soda or what. I'm going home. Kate? Kate, why did you just let. Why didn't you try to wake me up? Kate? Okay. Oh, it's fucking yeah. Okay. What the fuck, Kate? Get off of me. Ow, you stupid bitch. What's the problem? Huh? 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 You're acting like a psycho. You're acting crazy. You're all over the place. Can't believe you. Ugh. Spike by soda. That make weird noises with your mouth. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm dying. Oh no. Car is gone. Go to the office and call the police. The police, you say? Oh, I was I was totally expecting there to be someone here. I'm gonna die. Uh, somebody cut my lines! Oh, hell yeah, I got a gun, son. Hey, 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 take the nature trail back to your house. Hey, Peter, take the nature trail. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Don't you yell weird funky noises at me, you son of a bee snatcher. I'll fuck you up. Give you a good one, too. No, 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 no. That's it, but I got the stuff I gotta run. Don't you fucking boy, 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 I like the noises. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, find something to unlock the trail gate. All right, no worries, guys. We're gonna find something to unlock this this trail. I'm sure it's back towards this way. I'm almost sure of it. Don't be a cunt. All right, we're gonna we're gonna fucking die. Oh, uh, we probably should have killed all those guys before we got that much further. Woo! All right, we're just gonna ignore them. No worries, we're just we got an army behind us. Yo 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 yo! Look at these bastards! Oh god! And back to the gate. Chains, do the thingy. We're gonna fucking die. Oh, I really wish you wouldn't. I really wish. I wish you wouldn't. Oh, there's so many of them. Get to your house. I will. I'll do that. Th hey, get no, 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 yo yoys, no yo yoy. I refuse. My house is a very far way away. Why do I live in a trail as well? What's up with that? All right, which house is mine? Hey, which house is mine? Is this my house? That's not my house. Away from me! Oh, thank God! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, 
I like the sound he makes more. Local soda CEO mask. Oh, oh, I get the true end. Scream soda acquires green so Oh no. Sunday morning about 8 a.m. Simon Crunsby, the local owner of green soda, uh, in, in attacked his close friend Kate Pernell with an umbrella after sleeping through a party thrown at her house. One of the, after fleeing and leaving her days, he proceeded to collect a firearm and bizarrely a flashlight before entering the local nature trail and shooting several trail goers. Oh, weird. So, uh, did I have like a mental breakdown or something? Ooh, that's super weird. There is two endings for this. That was really good, actually. That was really decent. Holy crap. So, uh, I'm just gonna read this real quick. Uh, it does say, this game is a continuation of a series made for the Two Minute Horror Jam. So the first game that we played was for a Two Minute Horror Jam. And for, for two minutes, this, this, is, this is crazy. This is good. Um, I'm sure it wasn't like specifically two minutes, but you know what I mean. Um, this particular episode being made for the Scream Light Jam. Theme of the game was Corporate Greed. It's inspired by the episodic mystery horror series such as The Twilight Zone, and this particular episode takes heavy inspiration from the from the horror games Afraid of Monsters and Cry of Fear, which, yeah, absolutely. Um, the episode revolves around Simon Crumsby, the CEO of a small soda company, and his interactions with the conglomerate soda company Scream Soda. There's two endings, a true ending and a good ending. Oh, upon completing the game, you'll most likely get the true ending. In order to get the good ending, I recommend hitting space to go back to the main menu upon seeing end screen and hitting begin once more. It'll remember your progress and you can begin from the second half of the game to achieve the good ending. I will say achieving the good ending is as simple as using only the first item or none at all from this point. Oh, oh. Okay, so don't shoot people, and don't use items. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We got the time. Let's go back into this real quick. So, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let the yo yoys like, come after us. We're not gonna shoot anything. We're just gonna, we're just gonna immediately go for the little thing. We're gonna let the yo yoys be behind us, and hopefully we should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me go grab the thingy real quick. Oh, God. Do they even hurt? Do they hurt me? Can they hurt me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Kate, Kate was able to yo-yo me pretty hard. So I just, I just gotta, um, I just gotta be smart about it. And I gotta, I just gotta keep running and, uh, dodge and weave, basically. That's, that's literally all I gotta do. All right, here's another yo-yo. No worries, no worries, no worries. No whammies! There we go. Aha! There we go. Oh, Sophie, thank God. Oh, no. She's gonna be a yo-yo, isn't she? Oh, maybe she's not gonna be a yo-yo. I guess this was local soda CEO Poison. Sunday morning, August 25th, around 8 a.m. Simon. I'm really trying to read it. It's so hard to read it. Um... Simon Crumsby, the the local owner of Green Soda Incorporated, attacked his close friend Kate Pernell with an umbrella after sleeping through a party. Um, after fleeing and leaving her dazed, he proceeded to arm himself and walk through the nature trail to his home, ignoring his car parked nearby. Oh, his, my car was there. Passing several concerned joggers and bicycler, bicyclists along the way who phoned the police. Mr. Crumsby then passed out in front of his wife. His actions, however, have been explained as a possible attempted poisoning. After hearing Mr. Crumsby's description of the events, he was tested for hallucinogens, eventually testing positive for a very rare toxic plant found in the Amazon. Police are investing in criminal involvement. David Rumpleton. Okay, so is David Rumpleton technically the poisonous? Sunday morning, September 1st, Scream Soda Incorporated CEO David Rumpleton was arrested and charged with attempted murder after it had surfaced that he was the leader in a conspiratorial plot to fatally poison local business owner Simon Crumsby last week. Following the charges levied against her, Kate Prennell has taken a plea bargain and revealed the entire plan to authorities in exchange for a lighter sentence. After hearing of the incident, a key witness, Dr. Jay Chandelier, Jay Chandelier, 
has come forward to admit selling the hallucinogen to Rumpleton at, under pretense that Rumpleton was using it for recreational purposes. Rumpleton's security guard, Andreas Letherkoff, is awaiting sentencing. Oh my god, that's crazy. That, that was good. This was good. This was really good. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't want to shit on the first game because the first game was, was done very, very well as, you know, too. I felt like this was a little bit longer. It had a lot more substance to it. Um, and it was, it was quite a bit more scarier than, uh, the first one as far as, like, the, uh, the actual, like, atmosphere and, uh, like, scary characters go like the yo-yoys those things were those things are freaky looking but um it, it, it's really really cool i i've always liked the trope of like having like he was obviously hallucinating so he thought that everything was real when it really wasn't so I, i've always liked that trope it's it's always been a, a very very uh good horror tactic for me but uh, this was really good. Thank you so much uh, for for watching the video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you so much, Consistency 3D. Freaking great, great game, great game. It was very very fun. Uh, I'm hoping that there is another episode on the way. I would absolutely freaking love to play it. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Good later.